Hello everyone, today we are demonstrating our cutting dies. So you see we have two different types of cutting dies. The first is a ribbon steel die. So what that is, it's a thin piece of steel in there, it's sharpened, it's embedded in the foam. As you put this in a press and push down, the foam retracts and the blades will go and cut the sample. This is more ideal for thinner samples, uh, something like zero to three millimeters or so, and better for softer plastics, elastomers, rubber, that sort of thing. Now here we have our full hardened steel cutting die. So this is a more robust die here. This is designed to be used on larger presses and to cut harder plastics up to about five millimeters or so. Any thicker than that, you'll most likely have to machine the samples yourself in a, in a uh, CNC machine or similar. Uh, you can see here that there are some embedded springs. So as this pushes down on the sample, these springs retract and the cutting edge is exposed. So this spring mechanism is removable. If you need to sharpen these dies, they can be sharpened by really anyone. Um, and these can also be loaded onto any sort of press. So right now I have the pin in here. You can unscrew this pin, which will leave you a flat back. So you can just flatly load that into a press. Or if you have any different type of fixturing that you need, there's four screws here, four inset screws, and these are M8. Uh, so you can really attach on any sort of fixturing that you need. So again, these are our two uh, primary styles of cutting dies. Again, this one is for thinner, softer samples, and this is for your thicker, harder plastics and things like that. All right, if you have any questions, be sure to visit us at universalgripco.com. Thanks.